One of the best parts of owning a Chromecast with Google TV, obviously, is the remote. It helps you get around the new UI, and it makes it really simple to control your television. But there are going to be times when you want to just cast stuff right from your device that's in your hand, or maybe you just misplaced your remote. Well, luckily, there is a new UI built right into the YouTube app on Android phones that allows you to actually replicate a lot of the controls you would get from the controller once you've started a cast session. So let's check it out. Okay, so to get this started, I'm gonna show you the first way, the main way that you're probably going to use this when you're sitting on a couch or something. You click into a video, you start watching it on your phone, you realize, you know what? I'd rather watch this on the big screen. And so we click the cast button, we choose the Chromecast. It starts playing on the big screen and you're ready to go. Well, what happens if you miss something? You're ready to rewind it. Well, you click that cast button again and boom, there's this new interface right here, which has a volume slider, a voice search, which we'll talk about in just a second, and then a remote. Click that button and boom, you get a full screen remote right here. And this thing will act just like your Chromecast with Google TV remote would act. So if I click back, I go back and forward. So I can scrub, I can press up and get the video extras, close caption, click the middle button to select, choose quality, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that good stuff. I can hit the back button, to go back and remove all that stuff from the screen and basically control the entire playback here, right here from this remote that again, this is no additional app or additional setting. This is just something that is built into the YouTube app on Android phones at this point and hopefully other YouTube apps in the future. Additionally, what you can do is down here on this voice search, this will act at least in YouTube, just like your Google Assistant button. So if I click this, I'm gonna say, yeah, we'll allow videos by Chrome Unboxed. You see things pop up on the screen. And again, I can navigate the UI once I'm in this setting here. And it works just like you'd expect. I mean, heck, if you really want to, you can go through and type search results and all that kind of stuff if you'd like. It's all just kind of integrated right here, all in this application, again, that's just kind of hidden away in YouTube and is super duper functional and super duper helpful, again, if you have misplaced or can't find your remote or just honestly just want to use the, the phone instead of going and hunting down your remote and using a physical remote. But that's really it. We just kind of wanted to show you how to go about finding this thing if you were interested or you just happen to need it at some point in the future. Again, if I hit this cast button and I disconnect here, then I'm going to lose that functionality. It's gone and I can go back to using my remote if I want. But the minute I start a cast session, it doesn't matter if I'm in a video or not. As soon as I start a cast session, with a Chromecast with Google TV. The minute I hit that cast button again, I get this stuff up here. I can voice search, I can click the remote, or I can just close this menu here. And so we hope this helps some of you out. I know I'll be using this on a very regular basis, and I'm really hopeful it comes to other YouTube apps on other platforms. And then I hope the APK or the API, I'm sorry, uh, will be something that you know other developers can use for Netflix or any other streaming platform where you could actually have these kind of controls built right into the application so that, again, and if you don't want to grab that remote, you don't necessarily have to to take advantage of the new Google Chromecast with Google TV. But guys, that's been it for this one. If you like this video, go down there and give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to ring the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.